Yo, shout out to everybody in that land over there. John. You know what I'm saying? These dudes out here doing their thing. John they got me thinking. And ye. They got me. I got to add them do now. Know the truth. We're doing big things. And the truth shall. Yeah. Yeah. Got to move in the spirit. Got to move in the spirit. You leave your body, your body vulnerable for things such as what? What happens when you smoke weed? You know the side effects? Yeah. What's what's some, what's some damaging side effects from smoking weed? Well, weed hasn't damaged anybody. That's yet. not true. Weed has not damaged anybody that's, yet. That's, Scientifically okay. proven, and let me make it has argument. not damaged anybody yet. And let me make my argument. Le smoking weed leaves your body vulnerable for emphysema, schizophrenia paranoia and bipolarism right. it's not going to kill you but it's also a hereditary which means that just because you did this action and you messed your life up you have children it's going to pass on to your children well, your fried, children fried chicken gives you high cholesterol fried chicken gives you high cholesterol and from the way it looks here y'all ain't y'all ain't against weed. fried chicken hey brother you heard that it's HTC in the weed. That's what causes it, right? No, it's THC. 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 Right, THC. There you go. F ABC, CBC, you know the same yeah, thing. Talk to them. Same thing. Not so, weed. Yo, them use weed for so, cure, so to do, cure do, different do, diseases, do, you know. No, you know what? Listen, that's not our <laughs> argument, brother. It's a herb. God created. And different yeah. herbs different have different properties which can help you. Right. The reason why you're taking it just to smoke weed and sit in the house and get high all day, we don't agree with that. No, because but if listen, you're if you're using this herb in the right way, you should be using it, consuming it for chills and pains in your body, then we understand that. Right. Right? Because there's weed there's certain weed like for but example. Let me ask you this. There's so I'm gonna use my example and I'm gonna give the side you. effects. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give my example and I'm gonna let you take it over. There's, there's something called like weed droplets that you can put in your tea that you can drink and it can help people who have spinal problems that can't sit for long periods of time. And, and people who we are paranoid, that. it also helps anxiety. It doesn't only just cause paranoia it, it can, and bipolarism. It, it also, they use that as a as a treatment for it too. But you do understand people who have anxiety, they do. that's the same argument they make about smoking cigarettes, you know that, right? You know that, right? I don't know. You didn't know that? No. They do. They make the same argument. When they say they have anxiety or stress, they'll turn to cigarettes to smoke it to lower yeah, their stress. And they don't know about a cigarette. No problem. That's how about now, weed. No oh, problem. Weed. Then let's talk about it. God created yeah, weed, herb, all of that. God created, right? Yeah. Is everything that God created good? Yes or no? I would say yes. You want to say yes? Yes. Let's see. Isaiah chapter 45 verse 7. Let's see according to the Bible. Let's see if everything God created is good. Because if it's not, then everything we get we interact with in this world, we have to determine. Is this good for me? Is this evil for me? Which one did God create it for it to be to be? I know everything that makes up crack cocaine, God created each of those things. But he didn't create it for us to go take it and make crack cocaine. Right. Right? Go ahead and read that. But we're not talking Isaiah about 45. Okay. I'm making an example. I'm, 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 building, I'm piggybacking Isaiah off of him when he said we. What did it say? Isaiah 45, verse 7. Bring it out. out. I form the light. What did the Bible say? I, I form the light. The Bible says I form the light. Who created the light? God said God. Light. Go ahead. And create darkness. Who created darkness? Huh? Who created darkness? Oh, you can't create darkness. Read one more time. I formed the light. I formed the light. Someone formed light, right? Yeah, so there was Come already on. darkness. And create darkness. So someone created darkness according to the Bible. Yes or no? I don't agree with You don't that. know? Okay, let's keep going. I said I don't agree with I that. I make peace. So you disagree with the Bible? I agree with that verse. So you do agree. So Go ahead. Come on. And create evil. What about I say? And, and create, create evil. The Bible says I create peace. But I also create evil. Let's see who did this. Come on. I, the Lord, do all these things. The Lord did all these things. So now let's determine. Let's put it on the table. Is weed good or evil? What's your answer? Good. It's good? It's great. Even though it leaves your body vulnerable for schizophrenia. Even though it leaves your body, your body vulnerable for paranoia and uh, uh, bipolarism. Hey, but listen. Everything has a good and a bad side. Just like human beings. We're good and we're bad. 
anything that you consume too much or that you abuse can be bad for you. Even water that's good for your body can drown you if you take it too much. And there should be some things you should never use at all. No, that's not. I'm not I, I'm okay, not water no, itself no, 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 can kill you. So are you saying, if you no, no, jump no, no. in the water so you and you saying, can't swim, you are drown. You saying, are you saying? Are you making an argument that everything should be done in moderation? Yeah. Everything should be done in yeah. moderation. Yeah. Yes, yes. So I should take meth, crystal meth in moderation. <laughs> not, <laughs> not, uh, uh, no, uh, 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 not <laughs> things that are bad for you. <laughs> Things that are good for you, you take in moderation. Because too much of anything can fuck you up. Huh? No. Things that are good for you, you take in moderation. Oh, so now we're determining what's good and what's evil, what we should and should not take. Because what the Bible is telling us, now let's read it one more time. And herbs is not bad for you. Herbs is not bad. You can show us first Corinthians 3. Because listen, there's countries that you cannot find prescription pills. You cannot find over-the-counter medicine. You have to get take what the God put here on earth for us to consume. But now, what does that have to do with weed, man? Huh? What does that have to do with Because he put weed here weed? too. What does that have to do with you stop smoking weed? Man? I'm not going to stop. Huh? Because what, what guess does that what? have to do with that? Huh? Let's read. You guys are up? I'm not going to stop because it helps me with my anxiety. Hold on, hold on. It helps me with my bipolarism. Follow over here. Follow over here. Read that. First Corinthians chapter three verse sixteen. Bring it out. Out. Know ye not hey, I need some that ye too. are the temple of God. You hear that? The Bible says your body is a temple. It's a holy thing, right? Yeah. Sanctified, separate, right? Come on. And that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. And because the Spirit of God dwells with us, us the children of Israel, that we can defile it with tattoos, certain things we can and cannot eat. We're talking about we. We can't even eat pork. We're not even supposed to eat shrimp, crab, lobster. We're not even supposed to eat any of those things. But we're arguing about weed though, right? The same thing that can cause all of these side effects to you, right? Just like pork can cause side effects. Like back in 2009, it was causing swine food. But 4,000 years ago, God was telling you not to eat goddamn pork. Hey, listen. Read that scripture. My grandmother oh, no, 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 no. was the biggest the Christian in the world. Like right now, the her and God, God. chilling in saying? heaven. If any man she ain't poor. The temple of God. See, I can't take it because y'all got the whole background. And the temple of God. Read it one time. If, if any, any man, man defile the, the temple, temple of God. God, if any man defile the temple of God, come on, him shall God destroy. So there's a consequence. God is going to destroy you. Doesn't mean God is going to come down here. Everything got to be spooky. God got to come down here and whoop you, put you over his knee and smack you with a belt. Okay. No, it's going to be practical with the things that's already in this earth. Hey, I told my son, don't touch that thing. I told my son, yo, that's evil. Don't touch that thing. But now you want to touch on it? Guess what? The same thing I put in that is going to jack you up. That's, that's right. how you're going to get destroyed, man. That's right. Go ahead and ask your question. question. Okay, who are the first people on earth that God created? People, that's it. So there Men was, of color. So there was no, who, who was the first creation that had it's not Adam and Eve? No, absolutely not. So Give me what, Genesis. So that means that the Bible is not right. When, 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 did, when did ever the Bible say that Adam and Eve were the first individuals? That's right? what it's saying in Genesis, because, ain't it? No, it doesn't. Let's get Book of Genesis chapter 1. There's chapter 2, verse 7. Right? Because when we read the we get we get this concept from the Christian church. Okay, that, in Genesis, on, let me it says God let me respond, right, brother, right? you gotta let me respond. I, know. I, I I will respond. That's what was that is no, what you happened. got the mic. You gotta overpower no, me. No, 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 no. You gotta be fair because you ask right, me a question, ahead, ahead. I'm gonna respond. Right? Okay. So we hear this concept from the Christian church that Adam and Eve was literally the first man. That is just doesn't make any sense because we're not taught critical thinking in the church, right? Because if Adam and Eve were literally the first men, then Eve is closer to Adam than a brother and sister, right? She was to supposedly physically taken from his, from his rib, right? Which means her genetic coding is closer to him than a sister. She's like a duplicator. If she had children from that man, those children would be finished right. mentally. Right. They'll be gone. All of us would be a bunch of R word children. That's Come good. on, let's be real now. And nowadays, so how can a how can a, a man, one man and one woman really repopulate create because the whole God world? Is that powerful. Okay, to create so something that can do it, that. Explain the legit. Okay, after they had Cain, right? Okay, Cain, wait, no, no, no. Let's deal with this. Let's deal with this. After they had Cain, right? Cain left. He was gone, right? They had Seth, right? Okay, that makes sense. They have a son, right? 
Then what? They had more children. It said more boys or girls, right? Okay, where did more people come from? We all come from what? Reproduction. So we're, we're incest babies, that's what you're saying? So God could have created a collective. So which Bible wait, is that? God could have collected a collective of people, right? So that they can be able to intermarry among each other and then populate us? No. You're saying that God decided in his infinite knowledge? No. The perfect way to make these people and make them a bunch of incest babies. That's what you're saying? No. What I'm saying is, are you saying that all these churches when that's teaching that, are yeah. they wrong? Absolutely. That's let's right. That Genesis. So what, this what, is what, what Bible says. is this and what religion y'all study? Hold on. Let's see. It. Come on. Let's I'm see. I'm answering. Genesis see. chapter 2, verse 7. Bring it out. out. And the Lord God formed. What, 1 and 26. 1 and 26. Uh -huh. And God said, Let us make man in our image. God said, Let us make man in our image. Come on. This is chapter 1 where God is saying this. Come on. After our likeness. After our likeness. Come on. And let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, Come and on. over the fowl of the air, Come and on. over the cattle, and over all the earth, Come on. and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. Uh huh. So, so God created man. Like God quit. God created what? So God created man. And God it's created man. Come on. And it's where did Eve? Where did Eve come from? Adam. Eve came from Adam, right? But in chapter one, it says God created man in what? His own image. His own image. Uh -huh. In the image of God created he him. He him. Male and female. What? Male, Male and female. female. All the time? Male, Male and, and female. female. In chapter one, it says he already created man and female. Now we're going to chapter two, and then it says what in chapter two? Two and seven. Go ahead. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. So he's telling us, he's taking someone here in chapter 2. This man was already created. It says in chapter 2, he doesn't create this man, he gives him something. Okay, now what did he give what him? Is he, who, give me a book of Job to the 32 no, let me ask verse 6. Let me ask you this. Yeah, let's who see did that. he create before them? Let's then. see that. He created men collectively. That's when he created. So there was people who existed At, on this earth. Absolutely. That's right. Because the, uh, did, did Cain have children? Yes or no? But that's the Adam and his children. No, did I Cain? Mean, I said Cain. Did yeah, Cain yeah, have children? Yeah, yeah. Okay, Cain left the garden. You know that, right? He left the garden. You know that. Yeah, but wait, wait, wait. Think no, about, no, no, think no. You think keep what talking, I'm saying. Dog. Think what I'm saying. No, no. Let me hold it. Hold on, hold on. Think what, think what I'm saying. Think what I'm saying. He good. He good. But think what I'm saying. He left the garden, he left the garden, right? Which means he left Florida, right? He in Haiti. And then it says he start having children. Where you get them children from if there's only three people on earth at that time? Come on, think about that. How that work? Because the Bible lets you know he created men and women collectively. Who wrote, all right, who wrote the book of Genesis? Job to the 32, verse six. Bring it out. Uh -huh. Here's the spirit of man. I'm not going to understand what you're saying because you keep jumping all over the place. Man. Who, who wrote the book of Genesis? Yeah, read that, read that. Verse 8. But there is a wait, wait, spirit. Wait, wait, wait. Read, 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 read. But there is a spirit in man. There is a what? But there, there is, is a spirit, spirit in man. man. There is a spirit in man. Come on. And the inspiration of the Almighty giveth them understanding. So what did God give Adam in chapter 2 verse 7 when it says he breathed into him the spirit of life? the book of Genesis? When it said he breathed into him the spirit of life, it's dealing with he gave him understanding. Who wrote the book God, of Genesis? Hold on, I'm, I'm going to explain. The, the one that gave him the spirit of life is dealing with giving Adam understanding. I understand that. That's what Now who what wrote made, the book of Genesis? Hold on, hold on I'm going to answer your question. What made Adam special? If he's not the first man, what's no big deal about Adam? Who wrote the book Adam of Genesis? Adam was special because he was the first man chosen by God. That's right. That's what made him special. Who wrote the book of Genesis? Most wrote, wrote the book of Genesis. He was given the information. So when God created the earth him, yes. and then he created the sun. Yes. You, you, there was people living, you're so, telling me, before he created the earth? Brother, no. I, I, so I, when he I created the earth. Brother, I already explained it to you. And no, 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 what you're saying don't make any sense. How could it because be men and women? No, how could it be how could it be men and women if there's no earth or sun? Come right, on, let's right. cut that. Let's how could he say let let's there be that. light? Let's Who the that. fuck heard him say that? No, 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 no. You're not making Who heard him say let there be light? What? When he said, let there be well, light. Who heard him say that? No, 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 no. What, what he's man, asking me. Yo, 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 I'll answer. Come over here. You'll have to answer when I come back. Get over here, No, because you're not letting me talk. When he said, let there be light, after he created the earth, 
if, if there was nobody created on the on the earth yet, and he said, let there be light, who yeah. the fuck heard him say that? All right, very simple. Go ahead and get it. Very simple. Or First, give me Genesis one and one. Genesis chapter one, verse one. Right. Bring it out. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Right. In the beginning, He created the heaven and the earth. And right? the earth was without form and void. So now, if you read a book, sometimes the book tells you, okay, this is what we're about to do. God created heaven and earth. Now He's going to tell you how. Right. So first, He's going to tell you what's about to happen, not a how was coming out. Go ahead. And the earth was without form and void. Right. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. Right. And the Spirit of God moved upon the and face. What? And the Spirit the of God, God moved upon, upon the face of the water. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. Go ahead. And God said, let there be light. And God said, let there be light. So now you might say, well, is God talking to himself? Is he schizophrenic? Because he's only supposed to be God there, right? As we read it in the King James Version. But then let's read down. Let's, let's check it out. Give me verse 1 and 26. See, now you're skipping, though. I've jumped down, but I want to get to the point. I don't want to read through nah, verses. you're skipping the facts. You can go through the facts. Go through the facts. It won't make a difference. Yeah, I I'm can just take trying to get you to the of, point. I can take pieces of a movie and take the beginning, you know the, the middle, story. and the end and create a whole other story I'm, without I, the, the shit that's in between. That's true, but if you're telling me a story about something you know, you got to tell me every detail if you're trying to get to the point. You got to tell me the points, right? Because you know the story. The story is written. So I don't have to go through every point to I, I answer to your question. He said, Let I want to answer your question. Go ahead, go ahead. You heard him say that. Go ahead. I'm going to show you right now. Watch. Verse 26. Uh-huh. And God said, let us make man in. Let who? Let, Let us make, make man. man. Let who? Let, Let us make, make man. man. Let us make man. So now said, we know God is not by himself. Because he just said, let us make man. So when you read the word God in Genesis, right. the word in Hebrew is Alahayim. Right. Alahayim in Hebrew means powers, right? So there's more than one there. Give me uh, Proverbs 8 and verse 12. Yeah, 8 and verse 7. Missing. Let's there's see what, missing. let's get the ex explanation. There's a lot of missing stuff I'm going to get the explanation. It's all, it's all explanation. But you it's, jump in. It's math. It's, this is math, man. Yeah. You got to get to the answer. You're see one and one, too. You're going to see one. Plus one equals two. Yeah, but you're I'm not gonna about, just I'm see not, one and I'm one. Not, I'm not, I'm not you're not gonna about, skip one. I'm, I'm not talking about one plus one or two. I'm talking about algebra, brother. A but A plus B equals it's, C. Right? right? And so they're now, not gonna skip. Plus. I'm gonna show you. They're not gonna skip C. The, um, they're gonna say A plus eight. B plus equals seven. C. Not A seven. Yeah. equals C. Check this out, check this out. We're gonna get all the answers this here. Yeah, Proverbs chapter eight, eight, verse twenty-two. Bring it out. The Lord possessed me in the beginning of his way. In the when? In, in the, the beginning, beginning of his way. way. So now, in the beginning, what's, what was the beginning we just read in Genesis? In the beginning was way back here. Right. Lord. So he's explaining something from Genesis. When the Bible explains his own self, we don't have to go to other, any other source. All the information is here. So he said, in the beginning. So he's referencing what we read in Genesis. Go ahead. Before his works of old. Right. I was set up from everlasting, from the beginning. From when? From, from the, the beginning. beginning. Go ahead. Or ever the earth was. Right, go ahead. When there were no depths. Right, when there was no depths of the sea, go ahead. I was brought forth. Right, go ahead. When there were no fountains abounding with water. Go ahead. Before the mountains were set up. Before, before the mountains were set up, go ahead. Before the hills were brought forth. Go ahead. Because I brought forth. Uh -huh. While I yet he had not made the earth, right. nor the fields, go ahead. nor the highest part of the dust of the world. Go ahead. When he prepared the heavens, I was there. I was there. Go ahead. When he was set a compass upon the face of the depth. When he decided which was east, west, north, and south. Go ahead. When he established the clouds above. When he strengthened the fountains of the deep. Uh -huh. When he gave the sea, gave to the sea his decree, that the waters should not pass his commandment. Uh -huh. When he appointed, when he, the, when he made the seven seas, the continents. Go ahead. Then I was by him. I was what? I, I was, was by, by him. Three? As one brought up with him. As one that was brought up with him. Go ahead. I and I was daily his delight. And I was daily his delight. So now, was the Most High by himself? We we just read us. We. I was by him. Listen, I bro, was with him. You read so that now, right. 
20 chapters later. But it's explaining in the beginning. Remember, it, it told you in the but beginning. That could have been the, in the beginning of whatever happened one one. In, that, in the beginning of that Second chapter. John 1 and 1. No, he's talking about creation. He said before the earth was created. But y'all still ain't tell me who said, sea, when God said, let there be light, he said, he's, who heard him? Who said that? The Allahayim. Who is the that? Spirits, the spirits. The ones that we're created from. You know you are flesh and spirit? Yeah. There's a spirit in your body. Right. Right? Uh, when, when the white man, he scan your brain, he looks for electricity. Right. Where electricity come from? The, the, the outlet? No. That's your spirit. Right. Your spirit dwelt way before your body was here. So we have to understand. So this Bible is written from spirits is what you're saying? I'm saying oh, every. Real, I thought it was written by this, like actual people. Yes. It was written by a man's hand, but he was led by the spirit, the Holy Spirit. These spirits existed before us. You existed before this body. So a spirit told him this. You existed before this body. No, I'm saying that. All right. You see, now you're having thoughts in your mind right now, right? Yeah, I want we to call them. We call them thoughts. We call them emotions. But they're spirits. Right. That's what's been going on in your head. Your brain houses spirits. That's why you can go around and a thought comes to your mind. Where did it come from? From whence did it come? You got spirits in your head. So right? what if the spirit is telling me to smoke weed? Because that's an evil spirit. Right. Because we're not supposed to smoke. But that's there's your, good spirits that and there's evil spirits. But that becomes an opinion now. No, it comes according to the law. Right. The Heavenly Father gave us laws. That's why society and civilization have laws. Right? Righteous people carry themselves according to rules. Right? If you have no rules, then you have no morals. Some people do what they want to do, whenever they want to do it. Somebody see them, they say, yo, this guy's lawless. Yeah, but some right? rules are obnoxious. Right. And some rules are set so, in place to be to take control absolutely. of people. But what's the difference? Do you have control of yourself? No. You, you, you don't have no self-control? No. I have self -control, You have very good self-control. I have self I have control over myself, but I don't have control over what happens to me. But what I'm saying, you got self-control. Control is not a bad thing, it's a good thing. You see, oftentimes we hear the word control, we say that's a problem with that. Why? Because people abuse control. Right. But control is a beautiful thing. If you got children and a wife, I'm sure that you got rules and you got laws to your house. And you gotta keep that place under control. Right. Because if it wasn't, it'd be out of control. But there's levels of control. I'm like, but well, control is important. But Can we at least agree that control is important? I would say that structure is important. But what, what good is structure if nobody controls the structure? Right. You can build a structure. I would say structure is important, but not control. My brother, if the light turns red and you're supposed to stop, that's the structure. If I zoom past it because I'm out of control, right? The structure has no purpose. But I broke the structure. But if we have structure, common sense would tell you let uh, the other person gonna, let the other person pass because there's places that don't have stop. Right, listen. And hey, guess what? Listen. Because you of their structure. We, and the way talking. that they believe, it's like, look, if there's a hundred cattle walking across this road, I'm gonna wait. I'm not gonna just shoot through that because of the way my shit is set up. Right. Because of the structure. Because not because have, of control. Because of common sense. If I had control, well, on, you said I common like, sense. Stop. You said common sense. Yeah. Now common sense, right? You have senses. How many senses do you have in your body? Right? They say six. They say six. They say five, but we know six, right? Right? So now you got six senses. You're using those common senses to make a decision, to keep yourself under control. Your, your senses is used to control yourself. If something is hot, the senses in your hand say what? Don't touch it. It's going to burn me, right? So you're not going to reach at a hot thing and touch it because you got common sense, right? So what we're trying to teach you is there's a common sense in the Bible that we're not using. That everybody looks past, they get religious, they go to church, they sing and dance, but they don't use the common sense that's in the Bible. You asked a good question. You said, who said, let there be light? Who's he talking to? Nobody is here, nobody, nobody, no flesh is here, but you're not just flesh. You are spirit and flesh. Right. Your spirit was. That's the point I'm trying to make to you. Go ahead, read, read the spirit question. that he was talking to. But I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna give you a spirit of name. Watch this. First John to the one, verse one. Great out! That which was from the beginning. That was when? That, that which was, was from, from the, the beginning. beginning. That which was from the beginning, go ahead. Which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which uh -huh. we have looked upon. Right. And with our hands have handled the That's word of life. That's one one. Is it John, is it Saint John? In the beginning was the word. Oh, you yeah. Saint John. 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 Sa
He's spilling, he's getting wisdom. This is a very wise man. He's getting more wisdom. We added wisdom to him. All right, that's what we're doing. Go ahead. Say, John to the one, verse one. Pick it up. In the beginning was the word. Right. And the word was with God. Right. And the word was God. And the word was a God. I mean, the word had power. Go ahead. The same was in the beginning with God. The same was in the beginning with what? With God. The same was in the beginning with what? With God. The same was in the beginning with God. So the word, the spirit of this Bible was there in the beginning. The spirit of wisdom was there. And he couldn't. All right, sis, you got to come to class and build up. Is your husband? All right, husband, you got to, you, you should be the one, come here, come here, husband. You should be building with you. Hey, you talk to him, you just hey, want to. I'm going to tell you straight up. He's going to say something. Security? All say some shit. No, 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 no. Don't touch me, boy. I got to get in here. I got to get in here. You got the wisdom right here. We need you, man. We need, most of you are looking for a few good men. All right, I'm going to All right, bro. Hey, bring you bring your wife. 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 And the word was with God. The word was where? Was with, with God. God. The word was with God. What's the word? This book here has a spirit. When you read this book, these words, your words are spirit. Can't you? I'm going to prove to you your words are spirit. Have you ever said something to somebody and changed their mood by what you said? Because your words are spirit. Right. The words that come out your mouth, they change things. They create things. That's why God, when he said, let there be light. Then the light was formed. Yeah, but Everything I can look you at do, somebody and change their because mood. God, you were creating God. I can go like this and change your mood. <laughs> Don't do that. But anyway, read it again. Read it it's again. Real. <laughs> it's, it's real. It's real. Communication, though. That's communication. I get what you're saying. Facial communication. The countenance. So was that the Bible, a spirit the Bible, when I go like this? Yeah, there's a spirit on you right now. The spirit is on you, though. So when the I do that, that's you. the spirit on you, right? <laughs> All right, God, read that. In the beginning was the Word, uh -huh. and the Word was with God. So that Word carries the Spirit, go ahead. And the Word was God. And the Word was God, because the Word rules, read. The same was in the beginning with God. Uh -huh. All things were made by Him. All things were made by Him. So what we try trying to tell you is that Spirit that moved on the waters in the beginning was with the Most High. So not just the Father, it's the Heavenly Father, the creator of all things, but also all the spirits are there. And they're creating everything that we see, know, and understand but on the earth you know today. You I y'all went from here, then to the middle. Let me explain to you why. Give me Isaiah. I'm going to explain to you why. Give me Isaiah. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. Isaiah 28. You're going to get it right out the Bible why I said that. too many, like, jump, like, in order, explain, yeah. like, in order, like, if it's, if it's, if it's, if it's, if the Bible is, quote, unquote, instructional. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Shouldn't you feel like if you're doing it, it has to be a certain a specific chronological order so a person can actually understand what's going on instead of jumping oh, wanna, from I, chapter 1 to chapter 16 uh, let me ask you a question to the you end went, of the Bible you went, you went, you went, I know you went to school, you went to high school you probably went to college, yeah. right? judging by the way you talk, right? so when you went to class and you went to school they said turn to chapter 1 and they taught you something then they might say turn to chapter 2 and they teach you something but they don't necessarily go to chapter 3 they might say okay let's go to chapter 7 Oh, let's go to chapter 10. Why? Because it's the same author that wrote this whole book. But there's certain points that we're talking about. I need to extrapolate those points right. and give them to you. We can sit here and read the Bible end to end. I've done it several times, right? But I can't get you the point, right, by just reading page by page. I need to go to the Bible because I know where in the Bible the answer to your question is. So I'm going to take you to chapter 7, but don't to you chapter 10. Right. But I'm going to tell you, the Bible told us to do this. I'm going to read it. Read it. Isaiah 28, out. verse 9. Bring it out. Whom shall he teach knowledge? Whom shall he teach knowledge? Go ahead. And whom shall he make to understand doctrine? We want you to understand the Bible. Go ahead. Them that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the breast. Be that what? You start from the small things, like a, like a child. Like they drink milk before they eat meat. Read on. For precept must be upon precept. Precept must be upon precept. What's a precept? A precept is like um, Genesis 1 and 1. That's a precept. Right? Read. Precept, precept upon precept. Right? Line upon line. Line upon line. Meaning that what? One precept here 
is going to go onto this piece up here. It's like a puzzle. One, this line here matches with this line over here. But when you study, you learn how to link those things together. Right. That's what we mean, linking up the Bible. Read. Line upon line. Right. Line upon line. Right. Here a little. Where? Here, here a little. Where? Here, here a little. little. Genesis a little. Read. And there a little. Proverbs a little. Right? right? John a little. Right. Right? I might go to Isaiah a little. Right. But I'm going all through the Bible because that's the way the Bible told me to give you understanding. I have to teach it that way. That's the problem in the church. They don't teach it that way. That's why they all in there with the Bible and don't, none of them know what the Bible's saying. That's why they think that Eve ate an apple and a snake came down and talked to her That's and all kind of me. foolishness out of our book. This is our book. We know this book. You're supposed to know this book. Church is garbage. That's right? That's that's the miseducation of our people. That's right. Right. We're trying to get our people out of the churches and say, man, that book that's in there, they're not teaching you it in there. They're teaching you Christianity. They're teaching you the slave master's um, religion. They took our book because the book is powerful. It's like a gun, right? If a righteous man got a gun, what are you going to do? Protect the neighborhood. If an evil man, what are you going to do? Rob the neighborhood, right? right? But it's still the same gun. Right. right. It's who got it in their hand, right. right? These people in the churches, they got our gun, right? I knew 357 is a 1611. That's what our songs say, right? The 1611 Bible, right? So they got our gun, but they, they robbing the people with it. All right, that's what I'm gonna do with y'all, Where y'all at? We right down the street, man. We are uh, uh, 2937 West Brown Boulevard. Did you give him a flyer? You that man a flyer, man. I want to see you at service, man. No, you, you're a wise dude, man. I think you can I'm catch on to what we're talking questions. about. Yeah, we got I'm, a lot 40, of answers, I'm 45 years old, bro, Listen, and man, I was brought up in church, that's it. but I always questioned what I was being taught in church because a lot of it didn't make sense. That's right. A lot of it don't make sense, You understand? Because common sense to me is like, it's not so common, but mm -hmm. I think I was born with the gift to have an understanding to stuff that actually makes sense. That's it. I, I just tell, I said, when I pulled up, I said, I can tell by the way he's speaking, he's thinking. He ain't just asking random silly questions. Nah, he's dog. thinking. So the Most High is looking for those that are now, that can if, see. If you can answer and it makes right. sense to me, then I can say, okay, this is the way to go. All praises, man. All praises. That's why we out here. We out here looking for men like yourself to come and hear the word and stand up and become those righteous men before the Most High because, because we're what? living in those days, man. Questions, yeah. I want to be able to answer to it Clear. and it make them it, 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 it makes sense to them too. Clear and it's and not concise. just a fairy tale right. that I'm telling them. Clear and concise. So I wanted answers. to see where y'all head was at. That's it, buddy. You understand? You got that um um St. Hey, John. But at the same time I came here, yo, shout out to everybody in that land over there. John. You know what I'm saying? These dudes out here doing their thing. John they got me thinking. And ye they got me. I gotta add them do now. And ye shall know the truth. We're doing big things. And the truth shall make you free. Read that again. And, and ye shall, shall know the truth. And the truth shall make, make you free. free. Read it one more time. And, and ye shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. We gonna, you gonna know the truth, and the truth gonna free you from all these lies and deceptions and religions and traditions that keep our people docile, dumb, and pushed down. We right. the Most High is raising up his men in these last days. That's right. He's giving them back their nationality. According to the to the um, Constitution, they said we three fifths of a man. Why do they call us three fifths of a man? They said the slaves they're not real whole men. They three fifths of a man. Why? Because we didn't have our history. We didn't have our heritage. We didn't know who we were. But the Bible is our history book. The Bible is our heritage. That's who we are. They said we're gonna know the truth, and the truth is gonna free us. Now, what's the truth? You got a truth for me? Psalms 119, verse 142. I'm gonna show what the Bible say the truth is. Give me Psalms 119, verse 142. We're gonna get the truth that's gonna rise us up and cut all this foolishness, this whole black man, white man. First of all, if I ask your nationality, what would you tell me your nationality is? What kind of man are you? Man of God. Alright, but what kind of your nationality? Your your heritage. I'm born? Yeah, who are you? I was born in Jamaica. Alright, so you would say you're Jamaican. Yeah. Or you would say you black. Or some would say they African, right? They they they, they cling to all these I I identities. Well none of those identities is who you are. That's right. You clearly not black, right? You brown, last time I went to school, right? 
I can see your skin is the color of brown. So your skin color can't say who you are. The white man says he's white, but he's clearly not white. He's like a little pink, right? So what about Negro? So Negro is a Latin word come from, uh, from Negro, which means black. They still calling you black when they call you Negroes. Right. They calling you black when they call you niggas. They calling you black. They keep calling us black till we start believing we're black. We're not black. We are the Hebrew Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. We are the right. Hebrew Israelites according to archaeology. We are the Hebrew Israelites according to history. We are the Hebrew Israelites according to all the artifacts that have been found. That's who you are. You are the 12 tribes of Israel. And coming from the land of Jamaica, the, the tribe of Benjamin was actually taken to the Caribbean. So I don't even go down to your tribe. You're from the tribe of Benjamin right. and the nation of Israel. Right. That's your true nationality. Nobody can't take that from you, right? The white man calls himself a Jew. He ain't no Jew. That's you the real Jew, right? Jew is not short for Jewish. Jew is short for Judah. That's right. Right? See, that's another trick. They come with Judaism. That's a religion that's based off your people. They made a religion off of your people, right? It's kind of like John was baptizing people. Then they made a religion called Baptist. Where did they get that from? There's no such thing as Baptist people, right? There's John baptizing people. So you're a Jew, right? Out of, out of short for Judah, the kingdom of Judah. So I'm going to read the truth to you real quick. Read that. Psalms chapter 119, verse 142. Bring it out! Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. Right. And thy law is the truth. The law of God is the truth. That's the only truth that changes anything. Right? Everything else is belief. But laws, laws don't care if you believe it or not. They exist anyway. Right? Right? First, I, I like to use the stoplight. If I didn't believe I needed to stop at the red, I could drive through, but what's gonna happen to me? I'm either gonna one get into an accident, or two, I'm gonna get arrested. If I keep doing that, why? Because laws don't care if you believe it or not. We gotta keep the law of God, right? The laws were created for us. You pray, right? Right? So when you pray, you want your prayer to be heard. Give me our Proverbs uh, 28 verse nine. Because the law is our keys to the heavens. The reason why when we pray, we wonder if, if anybody here in our prayer, we pray for certain things, damn. When you read in the Bible, when the men that pray, then something happened. They sent an angel. They sent something to respond to the prayer. But we don't get no response. Why? Because our sin blocks us from getting our response from God. Once we stop sinning, we're going to start getting that response. We're going to start to pray, and there you go, what you pray for. That's why uh, this, this is the power that everybody been looking for, but it's right here in the Bible. We look in every place else for it. Read that. Proverbs chapter 28, verse 9. Bring it out! He that turneth hit away his ear from hearing the law, right? even his prayer shall be an abomination. So now you know what an abomination is. That's not something good. But he said when we praying, our prayer is an abomination to the Most High. Why? Because we don't keep his law, statute, and commandments. Because we don't keep his laws, he don't want to hear what we got to say. It's like a parent. You're a father. If your child don't do what you tell him to do, they ain't going to come and ask you for things. You're not trying to hear him right now, right? Not that you don't love him, but you ain't trying to hear him right now because you're not doing what I told you to do. So our father's in heaven giving us this book for us to follow. We're not following it, but we keep praying and asking him for things. And he's looking at us like, why don't you do what I tell you to do then, right? I sent the word to you. Today, he sent the word to you. There was one day I was standing on that side and he sent the word to me, right? All these brothers were standing on that side. But it's what, somebody sent somebody and sent the word to him. So what about if you were doing what he wanted you to do for so long uh -huh. but never answered your prayers? That's impossible. That's what I'm gonna say. But the truth is in what's, the spirit. What's, what's the Lord say, has he ever um, forsaken the, the righteous? Uh, yeah, read that. But that's impossible. If you're going to do his will and his way, he will. No, children themselves are are like the most probably like, I would say, innocent children. To, to us, remember what I said about your spirit. Remember what I said about your spirit. Your flesh is new. Your flesh only been here 45 years. Your spirit goes to the... You was hanging out. You you was out there when 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 the, when the Messiah was walking the earth. You was out there when Moses was walking. Your spirit was there. 
So you might it might be innocent to us, but ain't nobody innocent. Right. Because only the most high knows what is spirit. And I mean that's what I ain't we got give no the control answer. over that. No, you don't if have to. If it happened before I was even flesh. True. You don't have to. Everybody's born into a situation, not true? We're born into sin. We're born into a situation. Right? Some people born upon a high hills. Some people born in a low, low place. Right? Who's to say? Right? But we know that what we're not, we might be new to the earth in this body, but we're not new. We just gotta work for where we're coming from. But when the most high tell us to follow him, we knew that there's nothing else that we could be doing but following him. Right? Because now, listen, what I'm bringing to you now is to your remembrance, to your remembrance. You once knew this. I'm just trying to wake up a part of your, your, your spirit and say, damn, this sounds familiar. Because I was one of the righteous. I wasn't one of the wicked. If you was one of the wicked, and you walk by and go, man, I went here that garbage, and you keep it moving. But because you were one of the righteous, you go, damn, you know what? That makes sense to me. Does it make sense to your spirit? Right? Your ears probably never heard it, but your spirit knows this. Right? What you pull? Go ahead. Isaiah 59, verse 2. Go! Verse 1. Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that it cannot save. Right? So everybody talks about salvation and repentance. People talk about it, right? And the most high, he can save us at any time. Right? We, a lot of our people ask about salvation. They don't even know what it is. They think we're going to be floating in the sky. Right? No. The kingdom of heaven is going to be right here on the earth. That's right. right. You know the Lord's prayer? Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. What's the next three words? Thy kingdom come. Right. Thy will what? Be done. Where? On earth. So we know that the kingdom we want is right here on the earth. Right. It ain't in the sky nowhere. We're not trying to float and go to heaven. We're trying to be heaven right here. Right? So the heavenly Father said, read that again. Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that it cannot save. Right? Neither his ear heavy that I cannot hear. Right, so he hears our prayers and he can say it at any time, but what? Read. But your iniquity. But our iniquity, read. Have separated between you and your God. Read. And your sins have hid his face from you. It's all about our sins, brother. That's why if, once we get our sins out of our body, out of our life, everything changes, bro. Everything changes. We just got to get that sin out, bro. All right. Appreciate What's your name, man? Kwame. Kwame. All right, Kwame. I've been looking for you, Kwame. Can we get your number? Yeah, go ahead. Let me get you a, a get Kwame number, um, Captain. Captain, Captain, go get your number real quick. All right, so we bring out the truth without a shadow of a doubt, man. That we are the Hebrew Israelites according to the Bible. That when we were bringing to the forefront, we're not supposed to be smoking. We're not supposed to eat pork, shrimp, lungs, and these things are not supposed to be in our bodies. But we are God's chosen people. We have a law and a commandment that we have to follow. Give me your Psalms um, 78, right? We have a law and a commandment that we have to follow. And because we don't follow it, we end up in a in a first fire and last hike. In the slum, in all the depressed neighborhoods, right? We're on every line that they're giving something away. Why? Because we don't know our God, right? Give me our Psalm 78 verse one. Psalm 78, verse 5. Read For he established a testimony in Jacob. Right, he established a testimony in Jacob. Meaning that he told Jacob, he didn't tell every nation on the earth. He told Jacob, and you are Jacob. You're the children of Israel. There's something that the Most High told you, and he didn't tell anybody else. Read. And appointed a law in Israel. And he appointed a law that we're supposed to be following, brother. We're supposed to be following the laws of God, right? We follow everybody else's law. We, we, we follow the laws of Selassie, we follow the laws of I and I, but what about the laws of the Most High? Right. What about the laws of the Most High? What about the commandments of God, right? We call it all names. What about calling who your real king is? Amasiah Yahweh Shah, right? right? Which he commanded all fathers. He commanded who? Which he commanded our fathers. He commanded our fathers, our forefathers, to follow his commandments. But you want to follow everything else. One day you, one day you Ethiopian, the next day you Somalian. You don't know what you're following, right? Right, Africa. Big up Africa. What are you bigging up Africa for? Right? What Africa did for you? Africa is a continent, a land. You're not African, brother. You're a Hebrew Israelite according to the Bible. 
Don't nobody tell you you African because you're not. That's a, that's, that's a game. They run game on us by telling us we African because Africa's all the way over there and who's gonna prove it, right? There's over 50 countries in Africa. Which country are you from, right? There's over a thousand tribes. Which tribe are you from, right? We are the Hebrew Israelites that came over here in slavery and we can prove it on the Bible. That's we can right. prove it on the Bible. Read that again, Psalm 78 verse five. For he established a testimony in Jacob, right? And appointed a law in Israel, Go ahead. which he commanded our fathers. Come on, that they should make them known to their children. Right, we gotta teach these laws, statutes, and commandments to our children. Can we do our?